Ah, hi, I am making this tutorial um, to share with you something very excited I have discovered about this program. It's a feature that I kind of stumbled upon by mistake. And uh, it really, it's fantastic. It changes everything for me because I use Band in a Box mainly to learn uh, different styles, improve my chops. And um, I've always wished that there was a way to get uh, instruments such as fiddle or saxophone and whatnot to display in tablature um, because it's not only it's not that band in a box doesn't have all the guitar styles I would ever want to learn it's just that I find that other instruments approach uh, phrasing just because of the way they're physically built and, and whatnot uh for instance uh horns saxophones trumpets will have a lot more arpeggiated uh phrases with chromaticism interspersed and uh, fiddles i love the celtic fiddle sounds and um i stumbled upon this quite by mistake and i figured out how to basically force tab for all these other instruments and i thought i'd share it all with you okay so Say I'm interested in the trumpet. Uh, what I'll do, I let's just go to real tracks, real tracks picker dialogue. Um, I find that the artist settings uh, tracks themselves are generally have fantastic notation. So you know, let's just start with a blank slate here. I will um, go my trumpet, and then I will. Type an artist. Okay, so what do we have here? Ron King. Let's listen to that. Oh, that sounds great. One moment, let me work the levels here. Okay. So now what I will do is, first of all, I want to get it in a song form, obviously. So I'm going to see what song demos go with this style. So we have this. And then, even though I, I don't believe that guitarists should restrict themselves to keys that they're comfortable in, I think for learning phrases, once you kind of adapt them to the boxes, so to speak, that you're familiar with, it would be a lot quicker to grip it. And because we're looking to sight read, um, let's pick positions that we're all comfortable with. So we're gonna go to the key of C, all right? Now, first of all, let's go back to the style picker. Because I wanna show you, I picked an artist setting. Artist settings will obviously be very well notated, but it doesn't have to be that way. Just look at the chart. And the G2 means it has guitar tab, which will be relevant later. Um, and then the ends over here mean that they're notated for other instruments. So this will have notation. Again, I picked the artist because I found that the, the notation on those tracks is, is a lot better. All right, so we have our track here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a note. What is this? This is uh, 1064. That's the real track. Let's take a look at the notation. Incidentally, I uh, know the law. already have a trumpet track there, which I will mute. Okay, now I'm going to, we're going to go over here, we're going to go to the soloist. Okay, we're going to select real tracks. What we're going to do first, in order to ensure accuracy, now I don't know if this is, I'm going to show a few things that I don't know if they're absolutely necessary, but I do them anyway. I'm going to try to find a corresponding uh, Real track uh, that that is also very well notated. Uh, the twelve tracks, any of the twelve key Brent Mason ones, are fantastic for guitar tablature. So, 
let's make a note. We've got even 16 at 4.4. 4. Type in even 16. We don't even need to do 4.4 4, to be honest. Because, all right, let's look. Here we go. Oh, I would also, you know, pick a soloist. Okay. We have the train beats are very, um, they're very well done. All right, so we're going to now pick that. We're going to generate the track, and, and I would generate this again, either on the solo, soloist or me melody, and that's for a different reason that I'm not going to get into in this tutorial necessarily. Um, it, they're just a lot more flexible, often for other reasons. All right, but now what we're going to do is we're going to go to medley right over here, okay? Okay, um, all right, so we have the track that we wanted to use, the 106.4, okay, so now this is over here, and I'm just going to do it a few more times. Now, wait. Why did that catch? Okay, now we're going to start on the second item list, change every three, 32 bars. So that basically means it's going to play this for 64 bars before it goes here because we tick start on the second item. So we're basically kind of tricking the program into thinking it's tab which once it's displaying tab, it will display tab for the trumpet as well, you know? Um, let's see if we could find the fiddle. You know what, never mind the fiddle now. All right, we're just going to go okay. Generate track. Now we're gonna wanna mute this one over here, which is the one where we've essentially copied or, you know, duplicated because we don't want two trumpets generating different riffs off of each other. All right. Now, this does not look like comfortable positions to work with because you know, you're not gonna play five, six, five, three. This is this is just bad looking. So what we are going to do next, and I apologize if the screen is frozen out for a bit while I um pull up the guitar window I'm on dual monitor screen here. Let's try to get everything in here. All right. Um one moment. So now we are going to, over here, where it says positions, you see, we are going to click over here. Now if you see, if you see, it's kind of moved everything up to the fifth fret. So now all those notes that it wants to jump back down for, it's not. It's bringing them back up here. These. This is a very, very workable frame. 